learning more about the good RX business model. Uh, hi, my name is Min An. Um, this is the first time I am venturing into uh, US stocks. And I'm also kind of curious who would be searching for such uh, information about uh, businesses uh, listed in the US. So I'm very curious about the YouTube analytics. But nonetheless, uh, that is for my own curiosity. Uh, today, definitely, uh, good RX. I, as a recording, uh, I am a good RX uh, shareholder, right? Uh, recently, the prices have corrected, and I invested a uh, more time to go and uh, understand more about this good RX business. So definitely, down here, I'm my iPad. Uh, when I start off analyzing new businesses, I would acknowledge that there will be gaps. Okay, so I. Uh, Took this opportunity to list down whatever I understand, especially how good RX earns, uh, gets its revenue. Of course, there are other things like what the balance sheet, about the cash flow, about what price to sales. That putting that aside, that those those are valuations. Uh, I want to focus on the business model first. In this iPad, which I'm also recording, uh, the video. Um, what you can see definitely on the iPad right now is that uh, I've taken a picture of uh, the good RX business model. Definitely, it has three prime uh, segments, research and prevention, followed by diagnosis. Uh, lastly, is the treatment and adherence. Uh, based on the third quarter, uh, we are just going to identify and list down whatever I understand. So what we can see is that uh, from the third quarter results, my summary that I got is that majority of its revenue all came from this segment called the treatment and adherence. So you can see that that particular segment has uh, four arms, uh, prescription savings, uh, pharma manufacturer solutions, then there's also the subscription programs, meal delivery, RX refill reminders and dashboard. Uh, of course, the third quarter report uh, did not go into so much details or perhaps maybe I did not see uh, like segments like meal delivery having contributing revenue or the RS refill RS refill reminders and dashboard uh, segments contributing any revenue so what you can see is that down here uh, as long as I wrote in blue right inside the picture it means that uh, it was classified very obviously in the quarter 3 report that this segment is reporting revenue. Okay. Uh, in fact, um, once I go into the third quarter uh, report, right, which you can see right now uh, in this segment, uh, the monthly active uh, consumers, I wanted to be clear about how my business group RX defines uh, monthly active consumers. So it is those people who have used a code to, uh, to get a savings on their prescriptions. Right? Uh, it does not include uh, people inside or under a subscription plan so it seems that people who use a code can also be a subscriber uh, and based on the reports uh, this is what you can see for quarter 3 to 1 there are 6.4 million uh, monthly active consumers as compared to 4.9 in the third quarter of 2020 the next part is the subscription plans because when uh, I guess I'll pay a premium when uh, the revenue is a recurring revenue. Okay. Uh, quarter 3, 1.129 million as compared to 673,000 of quarter 3, 2020. On this segment, there are the revenue segments, the prescription transaction revenue, the subscription revenue, and the other revenue. Um, of course, right now, what we can see is that the bulk of the revenue always comes from the prescription transaction revenue as of now. Uh, of course, if you see that there are some blue numbers down there, like a percentage underneath the, the quarter 3, 2, 1, uh, which I wrote 17.3, uh, I just wanted to do or find out what is uh, Kager, Kager, which is the compounded annual growth rate. While I was looking at all these numbers, I was wondering, hey, if, uh, can I use the subscription revenue of a uh, of quarter three two one, which was sixteen point two million, and divide by the number of uh, subscription plans in quarter three two one. I'm not sure if that's the best way to 
or perhaps it, is that even the right way to count it uh, but this is my method so I see that eh, in quarter 320 the subscription revenue per subscriber was $12 then quarter 321 you can see that it is $14 why am I doing all these sums is just to get a get a feel or a sense of how good RX earns its uh, earns its money or earns its revenue so that is on the business model part uh, of course in value investing there is also the management part and the valuations I guess for the management and the valuation part uh, that will take some time to go and uh, understand so today's video uh, is really about investing a little bit more effort to go and understand or go and unveil what I understand about good RX and more importantly what I have yet to understand about good RX I look forward to uh, meeting investors from all over the world uh, if there's possibility that GoodRx holds an AGM uh, in US I think it will be a worthwhile time to fly over there to meet the management